Uh, very good evening uh, to all our viewers. Thank you for joining us tonight on uh, the evening review. My name is uh, Trevan Jabela, but I'm uh, not hosting tonight's show. I am uh, simply introducing uh, a recording between uh, my colleague Kenya Kamboe uh, and uh, former Swapo Secretary General uh, Pendugeni Ivula Itana, which was conducted at Omtsegonjaba village in Oshikoto region this week in light of the death of uh, President Hage Gengob. Here's the show. Thank you very much for making time for us, Honorable Ipulaitana. Uh, we have come to you so you can just uh, give us your reaction to the passing of uh, the late President Hage Gengob. Mm. Well, uh, death is a very unusual occurrence. Every time you hear somebody has passed on, it, it touches you as a human being uh, deeply. It, it can happen yesterday, you, you heard of a death of an, another person. Same reaction, yes. same reaction. We never get used to to the demise of fellow human beings. Uh, well, uh, His Excellency, the late president, did not make his illness a secret. Uh, the nation was kept informed. But then I was truly so hopeful, so hopeful that he was going to get the best treatment and he was going to recover. Because cancer nowadays, uh, it, it kills, but yes. there are instances yes. where, you know, it gets arrested. Yes. And, and, and you, you know, Comrade Hage was such a jovial person, full of life. Uh, I don't know when else did he really go so down to, for people to see that he was really sick? In my eyes, he was always uh, a healthy person. Yes. You know, the, the photo of him or the, this video of him getting out of the car and started uh, and jiving yes. and, uh, you know, and I, it, I keep asking myself, when did he really get so sick? Yes. That he he eventually has to give up. Okay. Yeah. Uh, maybe if we, before we talk about how you remember him, can you just tell us when was your first encounter? When did you first meet uh, the late president? I met Comrade Hage. Uh, allow me mm. to refer to him as Comrade Hage. Yes. And at some point, His Excellency, yes. because I got to know Comrade Hage uh, in 1976. Okay. Uh, the party Swapo then, the liberation movement, had organized to establish a training institution for public administration yes. in Lusaka, Zambia. And uh, uh, they organized it to the United Nations and arranged everything, the tutors, the lecturers, the director. And then we were just uh, called upon as yes. youngsters, yes. you know. Uh, uh, I, uh, I, I, I know I, I was even overqualified. Okay. Yeah, having left uh, Shigambo High School in uh, uh, Form 4, uh, I, I was a uh, university material. Uh, so I did not even write an entrance test okay. like uh, all others. So I was chosen as one of the intakes of the UN Institute for Namibia in Lusaka. I was recruited from Tanzania. Okay. Yeah, so I flew in 
and uh, found all this uh, stuff at the, U the UN Institute for Namibia. Among them was now our director, okay. Comrade Hage, Gottfried Kainkop. A young man, handsome, mm -hmm. tall, jovial. Let me ask you, how was the hairstyle looking like? The hairstyle, if you remember. No, no, he, he, he never used to have a funny hairstyle. Yes. It was just normal Afro. Afro. Okay. Yeah. Not very bushy, yes. but nicely trimmed. Okay. And the beards, black, nicely trimmed. You know, you know, Hage was such a neat person. And, and I'm telling you the truth, if there was anything that intrigued mm. the students was mm. his perfume. Okay. Whenever he passed through a corridor, <laughs> <laughs> you would know. Yes, yes. Comrade Hage, Comrade Director had passed here. Okay. He would leave that, uh, you know, <laughs> okay. that scent there. Mm. So, uh, we, I, I arrived days before the inauguration of the Institute, and uh, we, uh, the Institute was inaugurated, I became a student, and our director was there. He, then he, he used to engage us so much, particularly on the Swapo Constitution. Okay. Yeah. He, he is the first person who introduced to me and those of my cohorts yes. uh, the Swapo Constitution. We were learning it through him. Okay. Yeah, to such an extent that we, we had a, a play uh, in 1978. There was a youth conference in uh, Havana, Cuba. Yes. Uh, then we, we, he, he, he took us through the constitution to do a toniel kind of, yeah? mm. but based on the Swapa constitution. So we went to play that in Cuba at the youth festival, the, the festival of youth. And uh, every student at the institute liked the director. And he was not reserved. Yes. Mm -hmm. His house was a, a house of everybody, particularly on Fridays. Yes. Yeah, we, we used to... To, to enjoy what uh, 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 they called a uh, uh, go down. Go down, okay. Yeah, go down. Uh, Friday, uh, you know, uh, some drinks and uh, dance and, mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, he was such a, a loving person. And, and we, we got so attached to him. Uh, to such an extent that uh, as years went by, uh, I, I got married and uh, my first husband yes. was a lecturer at the UN Institute. Okay. Uh, and uh, yeah, so uh, in, in that relationship, uh, I, 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 I became part of you know, them, the kind of, <laughs> yes. yeah. Uh, to, to, to such an extent that uh, really the relationship, our relationship became very, very close. Very, very close to such an extent that even when I came home, yes. the time we came home, a, a leader that I knew better yes. was Hage. Kenkop. Okay. And uh, uh, some of you are young. Yes. That you cannot recall. You know, I stood by Hage through thin, thick and thin. Yes. Uh, in the 90s. Yes. And, and he, he, he also was very, very, you know, committed to kind of to that relationship. Because my second husband yes. uh, also taught with him. Okay. Yeah, he, he, he was uh, a registrar yes. of the UN Institute for Namibia, uh, Mr. Itana. 
and uh, his relationship with uh, uh, Joe yeah. had come a long way because both of them studied in America. Okay. So, uh, uh, the, so there there was no break in between, in your you know, in oh. the relationship. And politically, we became uh, very, very uh, close. Uh, so, I, I, uh, what I relish yes. about our relationship was that Hage was such a genuine, honest person. Uh, at, at that time, okay. uh, and I. I trusted him and I, I, I could stand by him uh, to, to such an extent that uh, the, the first Congress, or no, the second Congress, when he wanted to, hmm, is it second or first? He stood for the position, he wanted to stand for the position of Vice President. Uh, I was one of his supporters, strong supporters. I'm okay. the one who motivated for him to stand, to, to stand for yes. the position. Uh, and, and you know, when I hear later that uh, uh, people were even saying, uh, I'm the, I, I call Comrade Hage Kwankara, mm -hmm. uh, it, it pained me a lot okay. because that was a lie. Uh, I knew Hage for years, yes. and I knew which yes. tribe he was from. Yes. So how all of a sudden now mm. uh, I must, uh, you know, be tribal. Be tribal. Yeah? I could have become tribal, tribal. all the yeah. way. Yeah. So uh, uh, he was a comrade. Yes. And uh, uh, that's what I knew up to a certain time. Time. Okay. Yeah. No, uh, from your lecturer back in yeah. 1976. So uh, he you, he ascended into the party. Both of you who are now later into in the party structures. You were also in cabinet. Mm. So tell me, when was the first time you were able to lead? Uh, I I I started leading. Uh, leading with yeah. I mean leading with him like together. You are working together as leaders. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I, I, I came from the military background. Yes. Uh, and and I, 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 I thought I, I was not really a politician yes. as such. But then I was catapulted in a position that turned me into a politician. A politician. At the Congress of Swapo Women's Council in 1980, Yes. December, January, 1979, 1980. Yes. I got elected as yes. secretary for Swapo Women's Council. And according to the party constitution, the secretaries of the wings yes. automatically become members of the central committee. Okay. Yeah. So I became a member through that, and Comrade Hage, I, I don't know when he became also a member of the Central Committee. Yes. So, uh, we, that's we, we met. yeah, that's, that's why we met uh, uh, at uh, leadership, leadership okay. level. Yeah, and uh, all along we have been now, you know, colleagues. Uh, I, I was young. Yes. Yeah, and uh, I, I really looked upon uh, them, hmm? my seniors, yes, yes. as mentors. And Hage played that role of a mentor to me. Uh, I, I, I learned a lot from him, just like uh, I've learned a lot also from uh, people like uh, Komite Nuyoma yes. uh, and, and others. I, I so much looked upon them for, for guidance until mm. I, I, I remember talking to myself 
until the formation of RDP. Okay. When I realized that uh, th th there was nobody to guide me anymore, okay. uh, I, I have to, to, to make a decision. Yes. Yeah. And for others also to, to learn from me. Uh, 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 all those years, I was mm -hmm. always looking upon the seniors. Yes. Can yeah. you help me? Can you help me now? It was Can, you now. Yeah. It, it was it, help now. I, I must help the people. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, Hage had played a role in the formation of who I became as a politician. Okay. Now, when you talk about qualities, obviously people have qualities. Some have good listening skills. Some have more good manipulation skills. Especially mm. in politics, you must be able mm. to manipulate people and also mm. convince people. So mm. what are some of those skills that you believe the lead president had? And then you're like, no, I'm going mm. to emulate. I want to be, mm -hmm. talk, I, I want to talk like this. I want to walk like this. I, what's that that you want mm. to do about you? Then, mm. Mm, yes. Uh, I, I, I've mentioned it uh, as a by-the-way issue. Yes. I, I talked about honesty. Yes. Uh, uh, one thing I had learned from him was being honest and being genuine. Uh, in, 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 and being able to confront a situation the way it is. He, 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 that time, I did not see manipulation yes. in him. I did not see any maneuvering yes. in him. Uh, and, 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 you know, because the, the, the situation we lived under, yes. the liberation struggle, you are all in exile, wanting the country to become independent and return home. Uh, many people, many people really were focusing on that alone. Okay. And uh, uh, those, those are some of the qualities that I, I got from him. Uh, uh, and and, and Hage showed bravery also, yes. you know. Uh, while others, uh, you know, would uh, hesitate to, yes. to, to confront a certain yes. situation, he, he was not that type. And that's why I think Comrade Nuyoma had selected him to lead the team that came home uh, to bring the leadership home in, uh, on the 18th of June, uh, 1989. Uh, he, 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 uh, you know, he was physically fit, yes. tall, and uh, you know, yes. uh, uh, he, and he commanded authority. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, he, 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 his appearance always carries or carried uh, that authority. Authority. Yeah. Uh, we've come to know. Talk about the voice. We've, some of us, the young ones, yes, tell us about the voice now. Yes. Some of us, we came to see, okay, a big, a big voice. Yeah. Was, it, was that the voice yet since 1976? Yeah. Or? Ever since I met him, yes. he, he had that voice. But he, he also got to know yes. that his voice was adding to the aura. Yes. And sometimes when he wanted to, to harass or, you know, Yes. <laughs> then he will make it even thicker. Oh. And, yes, and, and I, I realized many of the times yes. he didn't mean to, he, he was not angry, but yes. he wanted just to, to show to, authority. Yeah, to show authority or to get you out of your normal situation. Uh, yeah, to frighten you a, a little bit. Okay. Mm. I, and I'll, I'll ask you to think deep now. Uh, in terms of I want just that one memory, like an encounter, not an encounter, but a memory that will stick with you. Even up, mm. even if you have to close your eyes now and like, this is the day that I won't forget. This is what the late president said to me or did, uh, did for me and all that. What is that one memory that you will always cherish for the rest of your life? 
<laughs> it could be many, but... Yeah, you, you, you know, we, we had so many yes, incidences. Yes. Uh, uh, I have many uh, memories of, mm. uh, of a hage, uh, me and him. Uh, he had rescued me, okay. politically speaking, uh, uh, on, on some of the things that I might not even uh, mm. tell Close, here. Yes, yes. Yeah. But he, he, he was one of those who could stand for the truth yes. and say, this one, uh, I think you uh, explain to me, why do you believe yes. that this is black? Mm. You must tell me, yes. what is it? Uh, he, he was that type. And let's talk about being frank now. Was your friend person like, if something is wrong, it's wrong. If it's right, it's right. Is oh, yes. Oh, okay. yes. And it, it, it was not just from his side. Yes. I, I, I remember <laughs> one incident uh, that I'm not going to, to <laughs> yes. tell. Okay. Yeah. Uh, others may recall what yes. it is. Yes. Uh, who know what okay. the death then happened. Uh, there was something he did. Yes. that I did not quite agree with. Okay. And I, I was not in Zambia, where we were based. I was on secondment to Ethiopia. And when I got the news of what had happened, I wrote him a letter. A very, very strong worded letter. Yes. He didn't like it. And uh, I stood by, right. by it. Uh, others also felt uh, maybe I was too young to have, you know, said what I said. But I, I realized also that out of that letter, yes. he, he now got to respect me more. Yeah. Okay. That, that I, I could stand up for... Uh, the injustice and say this uh, cannot be done this way. Uh, mm. Earlier you mentioned that the late president was a very brave man. Mm. 1989, first elections, mm. from the new formation, political mm. parties were formed and all that. Mm. And in the structures that were there, mm. did he ever show some kind of any fear that no, this political party might, or any, any, any outside influence? Was he always, was, was I know you said he's brave, but was it a time where you felt like nobody was afraid of something? Mm, you, you know, when we returned home, after some years, uh, we, we, we melted into society. Yes. And the influence became too many. To such an extent that uh, you would sit down and ask yourself, is it who this person is supposed to be? Uh, and and we, we drifted apart. Right. Okay. Yeah. Oh. And uh, the, the, maybe it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be. Because there we were singing one song, yes. singing from the same hymn, same song. Here we, we sing so many songs from different hymn books. Uh, and therefore, um, and, and the, the distance also can create uh, misunderstandings and uh, misreading of situations and all these kind of things. So, yeah. So condolences to everybody. Let's uh, mourn his departure as we mourn the departure of others. And uh, I wish that his soul uh, rest in peace. Maybe later. 
Thank you very much for making time for us. We appreciate the time. Thank, Thank you. you. Mm -hmm. All right.